The Evolution of the U.S. Democratic Party A Deep Dive In the midst of a swirling galaxy of political ideologies, one star has burned steadily, albeit with varying brightness, over the centuries, the Democratic Party of the United States. From its humble origins in the early 19th century to its current status as one of the two dominant forces in American politics, the Democratic Party has not just witnessed history, it has made history. But what has driven its transformations? And how has it shaped the nation? This essay offers a comprehensive exploration into the shifting sands of the Democratic Party, tracing its evolution from the era of Jefferson to Biden its ideological shifts, and its impact on both domestic and international fronts. Origins and Jeffersonian Democracy In the late 18th century, as America freed itself from British shackles, a new political entity began to take shape. Originating from the anti-federalist sentiments that championed states' rights and agrarian interests, the Democratic-Republican Party laid the groundwork for what would eventually become the modern Democratic Party. Thomas Jefferson, the emblematic figure of the party, envisioned a nation of yeoman farmers free from the overreach of centralized government. His presidency, from 1801 to 1809, emphasized these democratic ideals, which profoundly influenced the party's philosophy during its formative years. His acquisition of the Louisiana Territory in 1803 nearly doubled the size of the young nation, setting a precedent for expansion that the party would later continue. As the Democratic-Republican Party evolved into the Democratic Party in the 1820s, it did so amidst a changing American landscape. The Industrial Revolution was burgeoning, and with it, new economic and social challenges that would test Jefferson's agrarian ideals. The Jacksonian Era and Expansion Andrew Jackson's presidency marked a significant shift for the Democratic Party. Elected in 1829, Jackson was portrayed as the champion of the common man against a corrupt aristocracy, a narrative that resonated with many Americans and led to a surge in voter participation. Under Jackson, the concept of manifest destiny flourished, which justified the expansionist desire of the nation. This period saw the party push aggressively westward, a movement intertwined with contentious issues such as the displacement of Native American tribes and the extension of slavery. The party structure also evolved during this era, becoming more organized and disciplined. The establishment of the Democratic National Convention in 1832 was a significant step in centralizing party control, which in turn helped to solidify Jackson's influence and policy direction. Civil War and Reconstruction The issue of slavery was a festering wound in American politics, and the Democratic Party was not immune to its divisive effects. By the mid-19th century, the party was split between Northern Democrats, who were generally more ambivalent or opposed to slavery, and Southern Democrats, who staunchly defended the institution. During the Civil War, the Democratic Party was largely seen as opposed to the war efforts led by Republican President Abraham Lincoln. This stance resulted in significant losses for the party as patriotism surged in support of the Union effort. The post-war Reconstruction era saw the Democratic Party struggling to redefine itself. The party opposed many of the Republican-led initiatives aimed at rebuilding and modernizing the South advocating instead for a more rapid restoration of state rights and leniency towards the former Confederacy. The late 19th and early 20th centuries, known as the Gilded Age, presented new challenges and opportunities for the Democratic Party. As America transformed into an industrial powerhouse, the party faced the daunting task of addressing the stark inequalities that emerged. Leaders like William Jennings Bryan brought progressive ideas to the forefront of the party agenda, 
advocating for the rights of farmers and laborers against monopolistic corporate giants. This period also saw the rise of the populist movement, which eventually merged with the Democratic Party, infusing it with more progressive policies and ideals. The progressive era, spanning from the 1890s to the 1920s, further solidified the party's commitment to reform. Under figures like Woodrow Wilson, the party championed legislation such as the Federal Reserve Act and the Clayton Antitrust Act, aiming to curb corporate power and stabilize the economy. The onset of the Great Depression presented a critical juncture for the Democratic Party and the nation. Franklin D. Roosevelt, elected in 1932, implemented the New Deal, a series of programs and projects aimed at restoring economic stability. These initiatives fundamentally transformed the role of the government in American life, cementing the Democratic Party's reputation as a proponent of expansive governmental intervention. World War II further reshaped the party's policies and public perception. The war effort led by Roosevelt required unprecedented levels of production and cooperation, which the Democratic administration managed effectively. This period not only recovered the economy, but also elevated the United States to a new global standing. The post-war era saw the Democratic Party at the forefront of establishing international institutions and norms, positioning America as a global leader in a world shaped by the conflict. The mid-20th century was a period of significant social upheaval and change in the United States, and the Democratic Party was often at the center of these transformations. The civil rights movement in particular posed a critical test for the party, which had traditionally relied on the support of Southern voters. Lyndon B. Johnson's presidency marked a pivotal moment with the passage of landmark legislation such as the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. These laws not only helped dismantle institutional racial segregation, but also realigned political affiliations and ideologies across the country. Johnson's Great Society programs aimed to eliminate poverty and racial injustice, which further solidified the party's commitment to social reform. Meanwhile, the party's stance during the Cold War, balancing between containment of communism and the pursuit of detente, shaped its foreign policy directives. The late 20th and early 21st centuries have witnessed further ideological and demographic shifts within the Democratic Party. The presidencies of Bill Clinton and Barack Obama exemplified a blend of centrist and progressive policies, from economic reforms in health care to advancements in civil rights. The party has increasingly aligned itself with multiculturalism, environmental issues, and a more assertive approach to social justice. This realignment has not been without its challenges, as the party continues to grapple with internal divisions between its more progressive and moderate wings. As the party faces new challenges such as globalization, technological change, and complex international relations, its ability to adapt and reformulate its policies remains crucial. As we look towards the future, the Democratic Party stands at a crossroads, much like it has several times in its storied past. Emerging trends such as increased political polarization, demographic shifts, and the rise of digital media are reshaping the landscape in which the party operates. The party's ability to navigate these changes, champion inclusive policies, and maintain its relevance in the shifting sands of American politics will be critical. As this essay concludes, it's clear that the Democratic Party's journey is far from over. Its past is filled with both triumphs and tribulations, and its future, undeniably, will be as dynamic as its history. The Democratic Party has not merely been a spectator in American history, it has been a critical player, continually evolving and influencing the course of the nation. 
From Jefferson to Biden, its journey offers profound insights into the interplay of democracy, policy, and the ever-changing American societal landscape.